split the following rational function into partial fraction. Okay, so now to do the first step, uh, though it's not intuitive, let me write the first step. So when it is a partial fraction, you're splitting into partial fraction, this denominator has got a quadratic function. So to split this into partial fraction, you can write this like this, a over x plus 1 plus b over x plus 1, the whole squared, uh, plus c over x minus 2. Now we'll, I'll explain how you can write this from the answer. So just accept this. So here, what you do is, you, you write a over uh, x plus 1, and then the quadratic form plus c over x minus 2. So now to make the denominators equal, so can we can I write here? Can we write 5x minus 1 over x plus 1 the whole squared over sorry times x minus 2? So to make the denominators equal. I should multiply this by x plus 1 times x minus 2. So the numerator has to be multiplied by x plus 1 times x minus 2. Hopefully you can understand that because this denominator, the common denominator is x plus 1 squared. So let me write the common denominator down like this. So the common denominator that I have one in the denominator is x plus 1 squared times x minus 2. So it, this has only x plus 1, so I have to multiply this by x plus 1 and x minus 2. Plus b times, this already has x plus 1 squared, so to multiply by only x minus 2. This has only x minus 2, so c has to be multiplied by x plus 1, the whole squared. Now, from the left-hand side and the right-hand side, the denominator, denominators are equal, so you can compare the numerators. So you can say 5x minus 1 is equal to a times, I'm going to expand this directly, so this is x squared, uh, this is minus 2x plus x is minus x, minus 2, uh, my, um, plus bx, minus 2b, I'm going to expand directly by c, okay, so let me write the first step like this, so this is x squared plus 2x, plus 1. Okay, so this is, let me scroll down, so this is 5x minus 1 is equal to a, let me expand this, so this is ax squared minus ax minus 2a plus ax minus 2b plus cx squared uh, plus 2cx plus c. Okay, hopefully I'm not doing any mistakes, so this, you have to be extra careful here. One mistake can be really costly. So this is ax squared. Let me group the ax squared to the terms together. So this is ax squared plus cx squared. Let the group the x's together. So you got minus ax uh, plus bx plus 2cx, and the terms without x, you got minus a, minus 2a, minus 2b, plus c. So comparing, so finally we are almost there, so this is 5x minus 1 is equal to, you can factor out an x, so you can write a plus c, uh, the times x squared, uh, I should have written one step here. Okay, I'll come to that later. Okay, a plus c the whole squared plus uh, what can I want to factor out? So I'll write minus a plus b plus 2c times x plus I'm writing plus here. Uh, you can write minus 2a minus 2a Oops, my pen is not working. So minus 2a minus 2b plus c. 
So now I want you to compare the left hand side with the right hand side. So on the left hand side you don't have a term of x squared. So if you don't have a term of x squared, I hope you can see a plus c should be zero. Okay, which implies a is equal to negative c. If a plus c is zero, I can say a is equal to minus b. Or so you can compare this minus a plus b minus, sorry, plus 2c with uh, phi. So can I say minus a plus b plus 2c is equal to phi? So can I say uh, make, if you make a the subject, so you can say minus a is equal to minus b minus 2c plus phi and multiplying both sides by negative one, so I can say A is B plus two C minus five. Okay, so let me do it first algebraically, and there is a better way to do without all these steps. So now you can compare this with negative one. So can I say minus two A minus two B plus C is equal to negative one. So there are too many negatives, I'm going to multiply the whole thing by negative one. So can I say 2a plus 2b minus c is equal to one. So from this, I can I say 2a is equal to uh, c minus 2b plus one. Hopefully I have not confused you. So what I've done is, 2b, I've taken this two on the right hand side. So minus c became plus c, plus 2b became minus 2b, and plus one is already sitting here. So I can see a 2c here. So from this, can I say 2a is equal to minus 2c? And from this, I'm going to multiply the whole thing by two. So can I say 2a is equal to 2b plus 4c? minus 10. So you've got to say this is say equation 1, this is equation 2, and this is equation 3. Okay, now what can we do? Can we compare 1 and 2? So let us compare 1. So equation 1 is in terms of 2a, equation 2 is also in terms of 2a. So can I say 2b plus 4c minus 10 is equal to minus 2c. Okay, so what can we say? Adding 2c to both sides, I can say 2b plus 6c minus 10 is equal to 0, which implies 2b plus 6c is equal to 10. There's lots of algebra here, is equal to 10, yeah. Okay, but I'll show you one method which is much faster than this. Okay, you can use the graphic calculator to get to this. So can I say from 2 and 3? So if you take 2 and 3, can I again say 2B? Uh, okay, can I say 1 and 3? Okay, 2 and 3 is... Can I take 1 and 3? I'll take 1 and 3. So... I'll write 3 first, so that is uh, minus 2b plus c plus 1 is equal to minus 2c. So adding 2c to both sides, I can say minus 2b plus 3c plus 1 is equal to 0. Okay, we're almost there, so I can say minus 2b plus 3c is equal to negative 1. So this is say, these are two equations in terms of B and C. So let me write this again. So can I say 2B plus 6C is equal to 10 and minus 2B plus 3C is equal to negative 1. So line up, so you can, I hope you can see this. Oops, uh, this and this gets canceled. So what is left is 9c is equal to 9. 
so which implies c is 1 okay now we know we have we said that a is equal to negative c you can say but a is equal to negative c but a is equal to negative c which implies a is negative 1 okay we're almost there so let us take one equation we know 2b plus 6c okay 2b plus 6c is 10 so we know 2b plus 6c is equal to 10 so do we know c we know c c is how much one okay so can i say 2b plus 6 is equal to 10 so taking away 6 from both sides 2b is equal to 2b is equal to 10 oh sorry 4 2 b is equal to 4 so b is equal to 2 so does this answer make sense okay so we have got a a is negative 1 b is 2 b is equal to 2 b is equal to 2 and c is equal to 1 okay so let us put this back into the equation okay uh, we don't need to put back into you can put this back into this and if you simplify this a is is negative 1 okay a is okay so let us check that yeah okay so this is what we want to confirm a is a is negative 1 so negative 1 plus 1 gives you 0 okay a is negative 1 plus b is 2 and c is 1 uh, so yeah so it's negative a a is negative 1 so negative a will become plus 1 b is 2 and c is 1 so can you see this is 5 5 x a is negative 1 so negative 2 a will become 2 okay a, a is negative 2 a, a is negative 1 so negative 2 times negative 1 is 2 minus this is b is 2 so this is minus 4 and c is uh, what are we doing uh, yeah yeah plus 1 so 2 minus 4 is negative 2 plus 1 is negative 1 so you can compare your a b and c and this is confirmed okay now there's a smarter way of doing this okay let me write that without going through all the steps there is a smarter way of doing this so can i write before you write this step 5x minus 1 uh, 5x minus 1 so let me use a different color can i write 5x minus 1 is equal to a times x plus 1 times x minus 2 plus b times x minus 2 plus c times x plus 1. Now you have to make, to get to a, b, and c, you, let me delete this. Let me delete this. I'll explain how you can do this in a faster way without going through this whole process. Okay. So if you want to do this, so what you're doing is, this is of course nothing from here. So I'm going to let let x is equal to 2. x is equal to 2. Now, where did I get this 2 from? I want to make this uh, 0. Because if you put, if you let x is equal to 2, what will become? What will happen? If x is 2, this is 10 minus 1, which is 9 is equal to this becomes zero this becomes zero and this is two plus one three squared which is nine c and there we go c is equal to one just like that okay this the key is the technique is it will let you have to make the this zero when would this become zero so now if you let if suppose x is negative one where did I get this negative 1 from? Because I know if I put x is negative 1, this will become 0. So if I put x is negative 1, this is how much? 5 times negative 1 is negative 5. 
take over one is negative six is equal to this becomes zero and this also becomes zero you have got minus negative one take away two is negative three so it's negative three b and so you can say three b is equal to three b is equal to what three b is equal to six so b is equal to two okay and if you know c and of course you have to write the next form which uh, you have to know this form that a plus c has to become zero so if you know c is one i can say a is negative one just like that okay hopefully this video has been helpful